tú y yo Piénsalo Suena tu recuerdo Todo lo que fue de los dos Son ecos de amor Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing this look right here. Um, this is using the BH Cosmetics 3rd Edition palette. That palette has some bright colors, some dark colors, and I decided to play along with the dark colors in the palette, and this is what I came up with. So I'm not going to ramble in this intro. We're just going to go ahead and jump right into the video. Well, hello. So we are starting off by applying a piece of tape because I do want some sharp lines and then I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows off camera. Next moving into my transitional shade and my camera didn't film that part but I'm pretty much using this shade right here in the palette and applying that as my transitional shade and moving on to a different shade, this shade right here and applying that directly onto my crease with a much smaller brush. Next, I am grabbing a smudge brush and smudge brush <laughs> and I'm focusing this black shade on the outer corner of my eye and I'm making sure that I'm not dragging this black onto my crease just yet. Then I'm grabbing this green shade in the palette and applying that onto the rest of my eye. So the inner uh, portion of my eye onto the middle of the eye and just kind of dragging it onto that black shade so it connects with one another and then after I apply it dry I'm gonna go ahead and um, wet my brush and apply that green shade um, wet because it really intensifies the shade and it almost gives it like a very metallic um, feel to it and you can kind of tell the difference between just applying it dry and then wetting my brush and applying it wet it just really intensifies the eyeshadow I'm going back into that black shadow and again focusing it onto the outer corner of my eye this time I'm going a little bit onto the crease and really dragging that black shade onto um, the tape so that I really create an intense um, line um, on my on my shadow so here I'm just going into the crease and blending everything um, so that I don't have you know any lines or anything everything is just kind of diffusing together and then after I have um, blend everything out I'm going back into the green shadow with my wet brush just to um, really touch up that area because I did lose a lot of the color as I was blending so And then I'm just going back and forth between the two brushes, adding black, blending, adding black, blending, and then just making sure that that green shade um, really pops. Next, I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape and move on to the face before we finish our eyes. So to start off, I'm going to be taking a Nivea Aftershave Balm and I'm, I like to apply it with my Beauty Blender so I'm just dabbing this onto my skin and then um, I'm going to be using a few primers. So I'm starting off with this one and then after that I am taking Dr. Brand's Pore No More and applying that onto the areas where I struggle the most with my pores. And after that I'm going into um, Becca Backlight Primer and also applying that with my Beauty Blender. Um, just to add some extra hump to my foundation. Um, I really like how this makes your skin look and it just really adds a little bit of a glow onto your foundation. Next, I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation and as always, you guys can find every single product that I'm using down in the description box. Next, 
I am going into my Holy Grail product. This is the Benefit Erase Paste in the color Deep. And I like to apply that before I apply any like highlighting concealer. Um, just because it helps cancel out my under eye bags. Then after that I am taking Max Prep and Prime in the color Bright Forecast and blending everything out. Next, I'm going into this Maybelline powder. I don't remember the exact name of it. This is a totally new product at the drugstore and I am completely in love with it. But I'm using it to set the under eye area and pretty much apply it in on the rest of my face where I feel like I tend to crease or I tend to get greasy. So like my T-zone. Then I'm just going to go ahead and bronze my face. I use the same product all the time. This is the NYC bronzer in the color Sunny. And I'm just going to go ahead and bronze my face, do a little bit of contouring. Um, and then after that, we're going to go ahead and move on to blush. This is a NYX blush. Um, again, I will have the exact color of it down in the description box because I can't remember off the top of my head. Then after my blush is set, I'm going to go ahead and go into the Becca times Jaclyn Hill a palette and I'm taking opal and champagne pop and applying that onto the highest points of my cheeks my nose my cupid's bow my forehead my chin everywhere girlfriend everywhere and then I'm going back into the palette and taking um I can't remember the name I think it's copper something but I'm taking the copper shade in the palette and I'm applying that um right over my blush um just because I really love how these two look together then we're going to go ahead and move on to the eyes and we're going to be doing the exact same thing we did at the top starting off with the orangey shade then the um transitional shade not the transitional shade but the crease color then going into the black shade and applying that onto the outer corners and the green shade onto the inner and middle of the bottom lash line and just blending everything together For the inner corner, I am taking the lightest shadows in the palette and applying that onto my tear duct, not the inner corners, the tear duct. For my tear duct, I am taking the lightest colors in the palette and applying that onto, again, my tear duct. Yes. Then I am taking the blackest eyeliner in the whole entire world and applying that onto my waterline and going into mascara and this is the uh, limited edition Star Wars uh, mascara. And I'm applying a few coats of this and then going into my false lashes and um, applying those off camera as well as my lipstick. For my lipstick, I am wearing ColourPop's liquid lipstick in the color Kapow. And that pretty much wraps up the look. All right, guys, so that wraps up the tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.